Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Last time we solved the case of the haunting in Hamburg, and we arrived here at the movie studio to discover that there was a new mystery. The hell was that, Scooby? Uh, we came here to the movie studio to figure out what is going on and why uh, apparently more monsters have been showing up around here. We've run into a few of them. We've run into ghosts. We've run into poltergeists. And we haven't run into the other new monster that's introduced in this level, but eh, what can you do? We made it through a couple of the movie sets. We made it through like a medieval one and through a sci-fi one. And now we're back here. Now we can go through this door and it will lead us back to the uh, beginning area, back where the costumes are. Which I could take, but there's not really any reason for me to go back. I don't believe I've missed anything back there. However, there is something that I can easily miss right here. I want to go through here. And we picked up some ham. So with that, I believe that we are done for this area. So let's just head over to the door and let's get out of here. I'm actually kind of surprised that it took us this long to find find some food finally. I mean, it... Uh, mission? Or area one, I guess. Even though the food did take a little bit while. Oh no, this area. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh, this messed me up as a kid. And it wasn't for the fact of... It being creepy, yeah, it's all cartoonish and stuff, and yeah, it's obviously fake because we're on a movie set, but the thing that creeped me out about this was the music. It's like, music has a big influence on me. Oh god. Uh, music has, like, a big influence when I was a kid playing games where if the music was just creepy enough, it would, like, scare the ever-living hell out of me. Also, yeah, there's, like, uh, zombie props and all that stuff. I think, does anything happen with the sarcophagus? No. However, something I did find uh, out recently is if we sneak around, we actually don't activate any of the props. So I guess they're foot activated? I don't know. But what I do know is, uh, we got a big ghost to catch. Oh god, he's huge. Oh, he's trying to pull me into the tree. Come on. And he's mine. Now, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, music and uh, games, how it affected me as a child. Huh, these sarcophagus like, stand out too much that it feels like there should be something with them. But the thing about the music in this area is, it, it's just creepy enough that it's just unnerving it kind of like i would say if there's anything i could compare it to it would be the prog level from sly 2 where as a child i could not stand the music of that place so badly that anytime i played the game and got to that point in the game i just literally had to mute the tv because it's like man i just cannot stand this music why why were the developers so good when it came to creating a creepy atmosphere and yeah you can call me a coward all you want i don't care i was a child Feels like there should be some. I feel like there's one of, like the hidden zombie props over there. Let's head down this little incline, see if there's anything down here. There is some Scooby stance, but I already uh, got my fill. Your turn. We can send Scooby through here. I think I just made a huge mistake. Um, please tell me I can go back. Okay, thank God. I thought there was a point of no return here. Uh, because there was a clue over here that I wanted to grab, and yeah, the door is locked. I can't get through it until I get to the next area, then it will magically unlock for me. Hey, Scooby found a clue. A clue for Scooby Doo. Ah, Swamp Thing! Anything else in the graveyard that I need to get? I already captured the ghost that was here. Surprised there was only two. I thought there were like three that were creeping around, but it, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Guess the only worthwhile thing here was the clue. 
I figured that there would be a piece of food hidden there, but eh, whatever. Maybe it's down here that I'm thinking, because I do know there's like a food inside the graveyard Holy level. Fuck, or the graveyard area. Oh my god, advanced darkness! Wait, wait, I saw something glowing. It is lettuce! Let us get it! Uh, <laughs> Ow! I'm not funny. I can't even see where I'm going. It, even with, like, the past issues of, uh, like, the last couple of videos that had, like, lighting problems in them, and hopefully this one's actually having a bit better time with the lighting, uh, even on a TV, it's pretty damn dark and I can barely see a thing back there. And you'd think for a movie studio they would invest in a little bit of lighting. I mean, I know the light's supposed to set the mood and stuff, but... Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cheesy! Yeah, let's just sneak our way past to dear old Drac. Anything up here? Yes, indeed. Hey, look, Scoob! There's a staircase going down! And now that the... Now that Shaggy's acknowledged that there's a staircase going down, let's go back the other way and follow those snacks, because... Usually, if there's a direct path to a goal, you want to go any way but that if you want to collect any of the goodies that are hidden throughout the level. And hidden over here was... nothing. Could have sworn that there was something else hidden back here. Maybe it was past the... maybe it was down in here. This is some kind of electrical room. <laughs> and that sounds like one nasty shock over there. <laughs> Alright, let's get out! Yeah, I, I just wanted to show that what happens if you try to go to the door that's being blocked by the thing. It's just the skeleton hand just comes out. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the right word. You didn't ask nicely. Oh, there's nothing we can really do about the poltergeist in here because, well, we don't have the page for him. I will grab the Scooby Snacks to heal up a little bit. It is surprisingly quiet down here. There's what I was thinking of, the clue that... There we go, found the poltergeist page. Now we can finally get a revenge. You know, if you can actually find him. Uh-oh. Portraits are kind of hard to do because they usually pair up in like groups of two to three. So you need to keep an eye out for the second and third one that, because they will try and throw stuff at you just like that. And they do a lot of damage too. I didn't realize that. There you are. I saw you sneaking. Gotcha. Still makes me laugh to no end. Of the whole Jennifer Hale thing. It was like, I wonder what the audio team behind, like, the voice is like. Okay, this is how we want you to act. We just need you to act as silly as possible. And we know you're a serious voice. Oh, God, that hurts a lot. Yeah, it's electricity. It would hurt a lot. Oh, God. There you are. Oop. Aha! I'm using the environment to my advantage. And yeah, that's all we have to do down here just to get the Poltergeist page. That was it. Nothing else. Nothing else at all. It is so weird how it's so quiet down here. I guess it would make sense because it was like trying to listen into where the poltergeists were like sneaking around and stuff. Well done, Scoob. <laughs> Scooby. Rawr. Scooby. Raggy. Oh no! Follow the red knight. Oh god, boulders. Oh god. Hey, they actually decided to light this area now. And then they blew it. 
I can't see a thing. I really can't see a thing. Hey there. Huh? Shaggy, did you see that walking suit of armor? See it? Like it snatched up Scooby. We gotta save him. Great. I'll catch it all on film. <laughs> yeah. Like if it doesn't catch us first. <laughs> that laugh track. I'm never getting get over it. Anyways, when we talk to Velma and show off the clues that we captured. Wait, you found a clue. I do something I did notice right here. Shaggy, his like stance and stuff, he gets a lot more scared as his health goes down. Look at that face. Uh, come on, I need I need to get I need to get a good close up of this face. Yeah, look at look how petrified he is. All right. Let's go over the clues that we found. This looks like a receipt for a bottle of expensive cologne from a big department store. Um, okay, we are on a movie set, so, you know, movie stars and cologne and stuff. How about this picture? This is a crumpled picture of Earl Milton. It looks like someone doesn't like him. Or, you know, someone was just being careless and throwing away their garbage. These look like mummy bandages. From a fake mummy. These are too new to be the real thing. Gee, it's almost as if we're on a movie set. Wow, those were the most non cluish clues that we just we've gotten so far. Yeah, for a second I thought I heard a poltergeist. Well, let's oh, man, take a you're a natural. Oh yeah, I forgot this part. Uh, the one of the brothers, he's somewhere around here. I think he's like. Um, I wish the camera would be more cooperative. Uh, there he is. Can barely make him out, but he's right over there with a video camera, just pretty much taping us the whole time. Uh, is there anything over there? Oh yep, yep. New enemy, the mummies. I forget what the mummies do, what makes them such a challenge. We did find another clue. I'm just going to give that mummy a wide enough berth that I, I don't have to deal with him right now. Excellent. And now I'm starting to remember why the sarcophagus, sarcophagi, sarcophagi, whatever, they were here. I think these things either hide the mummies or they spawn them. Well, at least one thing's for sure. The mummies are very slow. And of course I say, hey, I'm going to give the mummy a wide berth. Oh yeah, they do like a stomping attack that like you have to keep your distance from when you're trying to capture them. I don't remember where you get... Oh man, he's going to corner me. Oop! Please tell me there's no. I thought there was like a costume hidden back there. Scooby, Raggy. Hey, what am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> Chopped liver. Shaggy, look up there. There must be a way to use that crane to lift up Scooby's cage. Try to reach the control panel. Hang in there, Scooby Doo. Daphne, did the Red Knight get you too? Sort of. I was investigating this cage when he locked the door behind uh -oh. me. Um. Play a game of Rain Around the Rosie with the mummy. See ya! Aw oh, man, there's more of them. I could really go for a disguise right about now. Or a page. I'm more annoyed than scared. Nothing over there. I'm guessing he spawned from that sarcophagus. Man, Shaggy is strong for his scrawny, skinny guy. I mean, yeah, those things are on wheels and stuff, but as someone who's had to push around heavy stuff for most of his, like, work and stuff, those things aren't easy to push around. 
just need to find a way up there. And I see disguises. And yeah, that's a well. Can I pull this back? Uh, all right. I thought there was like something hidden back there that I need to get, but nope. Okay, now look nervous. Like I am nervous. If Scooby could see me now. We have become the mummy. Not not the horrible reboot. Not again. And they catapulted into a place I can't get to because there's only the only way to get through there is a small hole, which we need Scooby for. Because apparently Shaggy, even though he is so scrawny and skinny, can't fit through a tiny little hole. Still nothing with the sarcophagus. How much you want to bet that that thing's gonna spawn a mummy right as soon as I'm done pushing this thing? And prove me right. Huh. Well, to be fair, that is the first time I've ever not wanted to be proven right. So, good on you, game. Is there anything over here? Eh. As much as I love the disguise music, I don't really find a need to use it right now. However, I will use the crane. Oh, so that's what calls you guys out. Well, I did make enough noise for it. Alright. Beeline for the costume! I am one of you now! No reason to save right now. Let's... Uh, can you tell those Scooby Snacks over there? Is that... Does it lead to a clue, or... Does it lead to... Uh, food because I do know that one of the food ingredients is up on the aqueduct and it is the food It's French mustard So now we can have that ham sandwich with too much mustard All we're missing is cheese and an egg okay, that looks scared. Like I am scared. Get used to hearing Shaggy saying like he is scared, nervous, and all that stuff, because until you're done with this section of the game, you're going to be hearing it a lot. Stay in the frame. At least the mummies don't chase you up here, I don't think. I think you can actually bait them to come up here. But if you do so, there's a good chance that you will get cornered and, yeah, not fun. Like it's broken. Hey, it's missing the fuse and the gear. Of this course it is. is out of order, man. Who's running this show? Well, at least we opened up the shortcut back, so let's just go back through the door. And let's go into this other area. Oh man, we got some funky fresh music. Man, why are there mummies on, like, a pirate set? You are not fitting with the themes of this movie, good sir. Eh, speaking of movies, I might as well go into this. I've actually been watching a lot of the Scooby-Doo movies lately. I gotta say... For what they are and for the time they've helped been made, they hold up pretty damn well. Oh, uh, okay, for the most part. Cyber Chase, yeah, it did not age well in my opinion. I mean, I still like it as a guilty pleasure, but it is not a good movie. Hey, we found some eggs, and also... I am ready for my close-up, sir. Is this close enough? Sir, you appear to be filming over my shoulder.
But yeah, possibly the one that I still think is the best out of all of them. In terms of animation-wise, Zombie Island always hands down. Uh, in terms of just like pure stupidity fun, yeah, I'd still have to say Ghoul School has probably the best place in my heart for it. I don't know why, it's just always had a good charm to it. Uh, Reluctant Werewolf was also a good one, basically it was just like the Wacky Races movie that we never got. Or was there actually a Wacky Races movie? I don't know, I haven't been caught up in the past of Hanna-Barbera stuff. Avast, ye mummies! Tie down the mainsails, for we are braving stormy weathers! Land ho! But yeah, Reluctant Werewolf is a stupid movie, but I still find some enjoyment out of it. I still need to watch Witch's Ghost and also the... What was the one with the uh, Australian vampire? What was it called? I don't remember. Basically, what the reason I wanted to do this is because A, this game has given me a nostalgia trip that I want to go back and revisit some of the old things. Oh man, Poltergeist, really? Up here? There you Oh god. I didn't realize how close you were. No, no, you are not grabbing that. I also kind of want to figure out where the movie started going downhill because, let's be fair, the more modern Scooby Doo movies. They aren't that good. In fact, I would say they are almost straight up garbo. And I kind of want to see where they started to, you know, fall off from, like, being cheesy, but arguably good fun movies to just being total cash grabs. Like, some people probably say, oh, it started with the WWE stuff, but no, I feel like it started way before uh, the WWE stuff, because there were some of the movies that, that I remember seeing that were just really cringy, might I say. Did I just hear Scooby-Doo's voice, even though Scooby-Doo was not with me? My god, we've been away from Scoop for so long that he died in the cage and his ghost is with me now. Oh god, that's dark. Do I hear another poltergeist? Yes, I do. Oh god. I hate the the spinny sort of pseudo tank controls you get when you have the Tome of Doom open. And I hate the fact that I'm running out of power. Oh man, there are, I can't tell if those are the two mummies down there. Or there's more poltergeist on the floor below me. I do know one thing. I am vulnerable as hell because I don't have any energy. I don't think there's any energy up here. I think the only energy here is the well back at the very start of the area. And also, there I think there were a couple wisps down on the floor. Now, there's something back there, and I know it's probably something I really need to get. Anything over here? Yeah, there's a ladder that leads to the upper floor. Can't really s the The depth perception in this is not the best in the world, I must say. Oh god! And of course, I'm still out of energy for the book. There's gotta be something I'm missing. There has to be something on this upper floor that I need to do to open the way down there. Ah, there it is. I see the button. Well, let's just hope that we can avoid the poltergeist up here. But I think uh, it's just prancing around on the far, far catwalk, so there's not really anything to worry about. But what there is to be worried about is the two poltergeists that are on this floor. And especially the one that's right in front of me. Or not? And it must have been one of the mummies down there. Found the fuse. 
Was that ever was that everything? We just you know, we need to find the gear. That's right. I say the gear is probably on the lower level. So let's head back down to the ship. See if we can disembark it. And find that gear. I think by the time we rescue uh, Scooby and or Velma, we should be at time. Like I said, uh, level 2 is definitely where the game starts to pick up. Well, no gear, but there is another door over here, which means... If the loading screen will load any faster... Yep, new area. Hey, how's it going? What, do we stumble into an Indiana Jones movie? I do like the 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 shaggy focus stuff where it's like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take focus away from co-op gameplay with you and Scoob, and instead we're just gonna focus on one. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Looks like we're going to have to have things under wraps. Let's get the door open and get out of here. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Yeah, oh god, that is... They are on the ball chasing you. Thankfully, we got their page. I'm just going to grab some energy real quick. I'll be right with you guys in just one moment. I don't think so. Get no. And they know that I have the page now. They're just okay. trying to get as far away from me as possible. Oh yeah, and their shockwave attack actually will interrupt your uh, capturing of them. And I did, something I do like is the fact that the the capture animation for the mummies did literally you just unwrap them. Oh god! I did not realize how close you were. Nope. Nope. I have no idea what Shaggy just said. It's like he said like three things at once. And gotcha. Grab any more wisps. Thank you. Besides, why couldn't they be filming a musical or something? Okay, now look nervous. Oh no, these things are swinging at like half a mile per hour. Okay, now look nervous. Surprisingly, sneaking around is actually the better option when it comes to getting past the swinging axes. Okay, no, they're not. Even though it makes you more precise, you have to be timed for this, because of course you do. Hey, yep. Oop. Uh-oh. Run! Wait, what? I'm going to lose it, aren't I? Huh, that was weird. Uh-oh. Yeah! Well, it was only a matter of time. Oh, no. Do I have to start this all over again? 
<laughs> All right, let's try this again, and this time with feeling, and also do it right this time. All right, switch flipped. Now let's try and get past this trap without dying. And as soon as I say that, I walk right into one of the axes. There we go. Was it that hard past me? Before we do that, let's go over here. Grab. Oh, we don't need to grab snacks. All right. Let's go here. Make our way down. I said make our way down. Anything over here? No clues, nothing. All right. And we've arrived right at where we, 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 where we began. Now, before we go back and uh, take the stuff to free uh, Daphne and Scooby, we want to head back into where we first came in, which is thankfully not that much of a journey. And if we pull it right here, we found the cheese. And with that, we found all the ingredients to the sandwich. So, now that that is done, we don't have to worry about any ingredients, and that saves me some time on a bonus video. Alright, uh, let's just head back up onto the ship. Ahoy! I bring literature! Guess you could say he was really into the book. <laughs> Ow! Uh, why do I even try? That mommy has no idea what to do. Is there anything I need to get? I don't think there's anything I need to get down there with uh, the mummies. Nah. Let's just grab some energy and just uh, head back to the Coliseum, er uh, Coliseum area and get Scooby. Ah, extreme close-up. No health is needed. So let's just go. And free our buddy. Scooby dooby doo. There you go, Scoob. Aw, that's so touching. Now go find my key. Shaggy, look out! And we just committed murder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Way to go, Scoob. I bet you he won't be showing his face around here anytime soon. Zoinks! Well, will you look at that? Like I think we just found ourselves a clue. But why do I get the feeling that we're going to need to find that clue again? Or, Your wait, did it, did it actually unlock the clue for us? Now I'm curious. Oh, it actually did. I thought it was like you need to pick it up. It, it just had like the clue symbol. But nope, the game thought ahead and actually gave you the, the clue outright. Hello? Alright. 
Alright, well... Unfortunately, that is where we're going to have to end it, ladies and gentlemen. We got Scooby back. We made it to... Uh, pretty far into... Uh, chapter 2. Uh, we need to go find Daphne's key, of course. Which we probably have a very good idea where it is. Uh, we got two more pages of the Tome of Doom. And, well, we managed to get all the food items next time on scooby-doo we're hopefully gonna solve the mystery of the movie studio and figure out who the red knight truly is see you guys next time later